The Knights Templars built most of their chapels rounded or octagonal because of octagon because of this here which I explained in some of my other documentaries now here are the construction plans of Hitler's Eagle's Nest built by Martin Bormann for Hitler's 50th anniversary on April the 20th 1939 Watch the, um, the octagonal form of the uh, reception hall. So here's the reception hall. Octagonal. The eagle's nest, the Obersalzberg, lies in the utmost tip of the very border of Germany, ten times nearer to Zurich, Switzerland, than to Berlin and as far away from Germany and the Germans as one can possibly get inside the country. A strange thing to do for a man who claimed he loved Germany and the Germans more than anything else. Don't you think so? Uh, real next to Octogon. Well, the eagle's nest is in the Alps where his finances are from and where he could escape to after the war. And this picture shows Adolf Hitler in 1923 in Zurich and ten times nearer to the Eagle's Nest in the Ober Salzberg as Berlin is, where the Swiss Nazi Templars financed him 30,000 Swiss francs, about half a million dollars today. And here we can see the octagonal form of the eagle's nest. A present from the Swiss Nazi Templars from Octogon. I mean these are real solid proofs folks. Real solid. Don't forget this. Only Templars do this just as the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem is octagonal where the original temple was that gave the name to this evil order. This is an octagonal Templars church and here this one is in Metz in Lorraine in France but sometimes the Templars churches and chapels are round as this one here in London which is in fact a constructional compromise for the obvious reasons a real Templar's chapel or church must be octagonal. The top of Hitler's Nazis were all Nazi Templars from Octogon and they hated Germany and Europe. The Nazis never were the defenders of the white race as they presume and they never will be. They destroyed Europe and dropped bombs on millions of white European children's rooms and even burned white European babies alive in the ovens of various concentration camps. Well look at the proofs, it's all, the, it's all here. Look at the octagonal shape of the Obersalzberg. Only the Templ Templars do these things. The Nazi mysticism comes from the Templars who never died away and it's all mystical because they never told any Europeans about it and kept it secret secret mystic on December 25th 1907 they founded the new Templars and still during the war on August 18, 1918 the Tula secret society of which all the top Nazis were part of the SS under Otto Rahn and Himmler even dug for tre Templars treasures all over Europe and North Africa and Rahn knew too much and got suicided on March 13th 1939. Later on Hollywood and Spielberg made the Indiana Jones movies after the example of SS Otto Rahn. 
Here you can see his picture. This this is the real Indiana Jones. You're all digging for all this Templar stuff. Many people got themselves suicided by the Swiss Nazi Templars, even today, where Uwe Bachschel, Wolfgang Umfogel, Ded Getschei, and many, many immigrants get suicided in Switzerland's torture centres. See my other vids about it. At least three of Hitler's lovers got suicided because they knew too much. One okay, but three? No, no way. Geli Raubal, here in the picture, got suicided on September 18th, 1931 with Hitler's gun. And uh, yeah, well, she was one of his uh, lovers. So here the self proclaimed tough guy warrior is eating cookies and cakes like uh, like a grandmother <laughs> what a joke Eva Braun got suicided on April 30th 1945 another one of his lovers so I can here you can see the tough cookie eater together with Eva Braun and the English uh, Unity Mitford got suicided with again with Hitler's gun, just like Geli Raubal, on September the third, nineteen thirty-nine, and she went to a hospital in Bern, Octagon, and died ten years later due to the suicidation. Now these women started asking too many questions about what these Swiss with suitcases full of money had to do that all the time around Hitler and they had to go they had to be terminated by suicidation a suicidation means when others suicide someone Unity Mitford was British aristocracy a baroness and pharaonic per a the big house now usually these people do not mingle with normal people but Hitler himself was an initiated per A of the big royal house of the pharaohs through his unknown father, Frankenberger. He was a part of the bloodline, just as Mitford was. Hitler, in fact, was more busy chasing women than saving Germany. While well, most artists and painters love women, don't they? And maybe I could even tell you what happened to Hitler's child with Unity Mitford. So here we can see um, that the uh, the little pharaoh is already pushing in him inside. <laughs> this is a Hitler's painting. I'd, I'd call this the pharaoh show like made by Hitler. You know? Was he already aware of that? Or... And here in Adolf's Pharaoh show, he painted the Sun hieroglyph. And some more of Adolf's Pharaoh show. And here some more Yachin and Boaz and the Freemasonry triangle painted by Adolf. I, it even looks damn good. I couldn't do that. I think he was a damn good artist. So how come, in fact, that an artist who loves women and um, loves art, and how is it possible he gets so uh, full of hate and so uh, so violent? How is that possible? And if anyone believes that Hitler died in 1945, well, I mean, this is the official picture. He's got a hole in his uh, in his front head. I mean, and the other ones, the guards, they said, well, they shot him, he shot themselves in the side of his head. And look at his eyebrows. Come on. Well, fake, and faking the evidence in the era of nuclear technology and missiles through drilling a few holes and fillings, uh, filling the jaws of a few corpses would absolutely be no problem considering the abundance of dead human material in all sizes and all sorts of the disposal, at the disposal of the Nazi Templars at the end of the war. 
and the testimonies of the SS guards and so-called last witnesses of Hitler's last whereabouts cannot be taken very serious either. The media presents these SS elite guards as normal soldiers to us who just obeyed orders and knew nothing. These were highly fanatic and selected men, in fact, who were even initiated and would never say anything, even under torture. And they were, in fact, never tortured. And this is very strange. Well, only the, in the innocent get waterboarded. Never ever throughout history the guilty and the evil ones got tortured. And Joseph Stalin, who is responsible for the murder of millions of Russian children, the execution of millions of people, Polish officers, Russian deserters and the rape of two million German women, now why do you think that this guy and reincarnation of evil didn't just torture the last living witnesses who saw Adolf Hitler alive? I mean, they were just some German SS soldiers, weren't they? Well, because it's all a big lie, that's why. Hitler only spoke German, so at the age of 56 in 1945 and mentally and physically exhausted because of all the lying and acting do you think he wanted to study another language? So where do you think they took him? Yes, Octogon. And after the war, the younger Swiss Nazi Templars, Templar war criminals went to the USA and Argentina and started working for the CIA and other key positions and just slipped into some other jackets as usual. Well, they're even on Facebook. Look at it. The former SS, you know. That's unbelievable. On November the 11th, 1918, when the First World War ended, Hitler stayed in the army until March 1920. Now, what did he do during those two years? Well, he worked as a spy or V-man from the, from the German word Verbindungsmann of the Aufklärungskommando for the police and the army. During two years he spied and lied to the German people and especially spied and lied to the German nationalists of the DAP, the Deutsche Arbeiterpartei on the NSDAP, the later name, the German National Socialist Workers' Party. So over two years, Hitler proves to us all that he's very capable of lying, spying, pretending to be someone else, keep secrets, put on another face and hide. So why does a man who claims to be a German nationalist himself and a lover of the German people lie and spy to the German people and even their nationalists, doing so over a period of two long years? These two years, from 1918 to 1920, prove that he can very well lie to his own people and that he's far from being an honest, truly believing German nationalist. And as the Nazi Templars from Switzerland like the anti-Semitic ideas of the NSDAP very much, Hitler becomes member 55 and this spy and infiltrator even becomes their leader or Führer on July 29th, 1921. And due to his per a pharaonic ancestry, he gets initiated by Octogon and the Templars with true pharaonic rituals. And exactly at this time, we can witness the transition towards the perfection of evil and the transformation of his personality and the pharaonic reincarnation of his soul and pure evil, which was only latent before due to his pharaonic genetics and bloodline only, which was pushing him in him without awareness. Afterwards, he's fully aware of who he really is. And this happened in 1921. And very shortly after, in 1923, it can be seen through this rare photograph of Adolf Hitler in Switzerland, in Zurich, who his real masters really are, who financed him half a million dollars of today's value. 
the Nazi Templars of Octagon, Switzerland. Oh, I can't see this evil face anymore. And after his successful infiltration and taking over of the organism, the virus eventually kills its host on June 30th, 1934, during the night of the Long Knives or the Blood Purge, Die Nacht der Lang Messer, by murdering all the early members and his early companions of German nationalists of the NSDAP, the National, the National Socialist Workers' Party, and the very founding fathers of the National Socialist Workers' Party. He murdered all his former companions and so-called friends as Ernst Röhm and many others. And then it was bye-bye Germany and the killing started. Germans, Europeans, Jews, Gypsies, Children, looting and plundering, making the Templar banks of Octagon, Switzerland, richer and richer and ready to expand to other parts of the world. And guess who was responsible for the financial crisis of 1929, making the rise of the Nazis possible? I mean, it's exactly in this time making it possible through the trust of the German population of solving the financial crisis. Exactly, the Swiss Nazi Templar banks. It was a very solid operation. I mean, this, was, this, this made the breakthrough of the Nazis possible, exactly when they needed it. Including the fact that when Hitler was sentenced to a five years prison sentence in 1923. He barely did half a year. So how come he only did 13% of his time? Who ordered to let him out? During this short and very comfortable time in prison, as you can see here, I mean, what a prison. I mean, he can eat his cookies and looks very comfortable while the time was used for further initiation writing Mein Kampf and setting the destiny of Europe the enemy within is still very real today and Hitler was one of them and Octagon is their base the eagle's nest as in Roman Nazi pharaonic eagle symbolism in octagonal templars form and the present of octogon the base and the motherland this is octagon this is switzerland the home of the templar nazis they did it <laughs>